coming on to scold her. So, you know, you think about the, if you're famous and fucked up, they have like a special 12-step program for you. Step one is, of course, admit you have a problem. Step two, Oprah steps in and gives you a beat down. So, uh, you know, it's like, forgive me, Oprah, for I have sinned. Do like, say 12 hail Oprahs and, you know, we'll talk later. <laughs> they're sending Oprah in Russia to uh, get Putin to talking to. Give it back, Vladimir. Give Crimea back, that's one. That's two, Vladimir. Oprah. Uh, don't make me go to three, Vladimir. He says, no, but I hate Oprah. You can't hate on Oprah. She had two strikes against her, right? Uh, like Condoleezza Rice. Now, why am I even thinking about Condoleezza Rice? The reason is last month was Black History Month. My daughter is in second grade, and they sent her home with an assignment to a, to a biography of that great black American, Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> I'm thinking, what the fuck? You know, not Billy Holiday, not John Coltrane, Condoleezza fucking Rice, but I'm a good father, and I will not let my daughter down. I will help her with this biography. Condoleezza Rice was born on January 20th, 1954. She murdered half a million Iraqis and lied on about it on national TV. She had two strikes against her, but she was a cunt anyway. And her teacher was like, live it. She had spelled cunt with the K. Uh, where am I? Oh, speaking of Condi, yeah, I mean, you, you're so young. You probably don't even remember the hearings for 9-11 where she was like, sitting in front of the camera, she's like lying her fucking ass off. And she has this beatific smile on her face, you know, a little blood dripping down the corner of her mouth. Lying on shit, you know? But she's doing great TV. The woman did great TV, and that's the thing. By now, by you, your guys' generation, because you're all under 12, everybody's on screen all the fucking time. And uh, it's weird because there, the people understand cameras and everything now. I mean, you think back to the 50s, you ever see those old, like, uh, Groucho Mark black and white TV shows they bring in, like, contestants from the audience, people come up on stage. Here are people that have never been in front of a fucking camera in their lives, and they look like wild animals from the forest. They're so uncomfortable. They're like dressed-up squirrels, you know? Not like the kind in Central Park, you know, those jaded squirrels, are like little hipsters, like so over people, you know, not that kind, but like wild animals, and I think that's what's happened to people now. They've lost that wild quality because their entire lives are lived in the public realm. They're on a screen somewhere. Everybody has to be really careful, because otherwise you're going to fuck up. Somebody's going to tag a picture of you with your dick stuck in a beer bong, and then you're fucked for life. <laughs> so you got to be really careful, and that's why young people are extremely polite to everyone. They're even polite to me, and I'm an asshole. And they figure, oh, well, maybe, you know, I'm like 12 degrees of separation from some guy that could hire them as an unpaid intern for... Uh, the, the publicist for the guy who got kicked off season three of Survivor. You never know, right? One minute. So, they're so nice now. They endorsed each other on LinkedIn. You know, I keep getting these emails. Martha Smith has endorsed you for product development. What the fuck is that? I've never developed a product in my life. I don't even know what that is. Martha Smith has endorsed you for, uh, what was it? Uh, content strategy. What? But I understand the game. Marsha is an actor friend of mine, and she wants me to endorse her back. She's an actress, and so on LinkedIn, she's an entertainment professional. Uh, oh, Bob, you know, we need, we need a, uh, an entertainment professional, not one of those amateurs. You know, it looks like on LinkedIn. Oh, let's see, here's Marsha Smith, endorsed by Michael Danola for being fully present. Is that good? Uh, Try to endorse my brother for sleeping. Uh, that didn't work, but I found out there's a way you can endorse people on LinkedIn, which is... Like, uh, uh, you can endorse doctors for the conditions they treat, so I endorsed him for low back pain and uh, priapism. Thank you.